Priapinus, discovered in 1671 by an Italian astronomer Cassini. It is the third largest moon of a gas giant Saturn, but 11th largest moon in the solar system. Still, Iapetus is actually tiny compared to Earth and our moon. It is only 1,400 kilometers in diameter and has a surface area comparable to Australia. Despite that, it is one of the most mysterious objects in the solar system. So then, what would standing on this small and mysterious moon be like? So first of all, obviously, we would need a spacesuit, because Iapetus doesn't have any atmosphere, meaning it's like a vacuum there. And it is also around minus 150 Celsius on average. Its gravity is also 44 times weaker than on the Earth, which also means that you would be 44 times lighter on Iapetus than on the Earth. Looking in a distance, it would vary a lot, because Iapetus has two different sides, the bright one and the dark one. So, if you were, let's say, in the bright one, there the surface would be very white and it would be a bit harder to see. It would look kind of like a snowy wasteland with a lot of craters. But interestingly, because Iapetus is not very dense, it likely suggests that most of Iapetus is actually made out of water ice. Hence the reason these bright regions are so bright. Water ice reflects light nicely. Which is also why it is a bit colder there than on the dark side. Now, let's say you find yourself in the dark region of Iapetus, which we don't know for sure how it formed, but a big rocky object might have hit it in the past, creating this dark rocky region that's very different from the icy one, likely even in composition. There the surface would obviously be a lot darker, and it would be a bit reddish and black, and would be heavily cratered. But there are some interesting features there, like the large mountains that go over 10 kilometers in height, 20 kilometers wide and are 1,300 kilometers long, almost as long as the diameter of Iapetus. In fact, that is very much noticeable even from space. Iapetus looks like it is split in half. These mountains are on average taller than Mount Everest, but there are parts that go even 20 kilometers in height, which is more than two and a half times taller than Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth, making them one of the tallest mountains in the solar system. Simply gigantic. So, let's say you are by the mountains. They wouldn't look very sharp, rather somewhat like a wall, but for sure they would be cratered. It would look ancient and gigantic, crossing over the horizon. Now, if you wanted to climb one of these peaks, it might be possible because of the gradual change in height, but it would take a lot of time. Still, it shouldn't be very exhausting, as you are 44 times lighter on Iapetus than on the Earth, meaning you would feel somewhat like air, so moving around would not be exhausting at all. Now, when you reach the top of the mountain, you could even notice the curvature of Iapetus, because you are that high, and Iapetus is that small. So, no one is quite certain on how these mountains have formed, since geologic activity could not have been possible with such a small and not dense object. There are as well gigantic craters and weird looking surface features on its surface. And it looks particularly weird with its two contrasting sides, which maybe suggests that Iapetus is made out of two different objects that hit in the past, creating today's Iapetus. Iapetus is as well the furthest out of all the big moons of Saturn, standing at amazingly 3,500,000 kilometers away. So if you were at the right spot, you would be able to see Saturn always fixed in the sky, because Iapetus is also tidally locked. It is thought that maybe in the past it was closer to Saturn, but later something caused it to be that much more further away from Saturn. So, all in all, Iapetus is quite a mysterious piece of rock floating around Saturn. In the future, we should definitely send a rover or a probe there to try and solve these mysteries.